The story behind the sleeve. Sleeves. They express our sense of fashion. But how did this seemingly benign part of the shirt find ultimate fame and recognition as the CDC's recommendation for hygienic coughing? There was a time when the sleeve was cast into the background. We were conditioned to cover our mouths with our hands. We thought we were being hygienic. But the hand was hiding a sickly secret. People were using their hands to cover their coughs, but they were not washing. And instead, infecting doorknobs, elevators, computers, and food. Clearly, the hand had to go. The sleeve glimpsed its first chance to claim the limelight of hygienic coughing, but the deceptive tissue would beat the sleeve to the punch. Tissue swept in, attempting to rebuild our faith in hygienic germ control. The marketing was powerful. Tissues in flashy boxes and pocket-sized packaging, they even came in antiviral forms. The tissue had saved us, or had it? We began abusing tissues, crumpling them after use, then shoving them into our pockets and bags, only to retrieve the dirty old tissues and search for a clean spot so that we could use the tissue again. The germs were winning. They had defeated the hand and now the tissue, but the sleeve remained determined and ready to claim its rightful position in disease control. Finally, the CDC gave the sleeve its big break, recommending that the American public cough into their sleeves when they can't immediately wash their hands. The sleeve was victorious. The sleeve had what the hand and tissue could only hope for, a hygienic method for containing germs when you cough. By coughing into your sleeve, you can greatly reduce the spread of germs and help stop the spread of infectious disease. It's easy, hygienic, and responsible. The sleeve, containing germs, millions at a time.